Hey there, lads and lasses. This here is Thunderhand64 coming at you live from the Generations Minecraft Realm server. And here we are on a very, very late on a Monday night. It's uh, almost 11 o'clock. It's about 1048 right now here on the West Coast. Um, I'm keeping my voice down because of family sleeping and stuff like that. And I'm going to try to do a little bit of a stream, even though I am really wiped out. It's been a very, very long day at work today. And... Um, so I finished up and I'm going to try to do a little bit of work here and uh, maybe maybe I might see a couple of you from who um, from other parts of the world right now where it's not quite so late at night <laughs> and let's see if I can just do a couple of things in here in the server now the idea is that we were trying to get geared up uh, because we want to go to another we need to get materials with which to build our training center here and one of the things I wanted to do was, um, because this is driving me absolutely batty. There we go. Friendly creatures off. And we can cut down on all that hemming and hawing there. Ah, peaceful, nice and quiet. Okay, and so we got ourselves a number of really incredible trades yesterday. Uh, we did a lot of grinding yesterday, and it paid off. I am glad to say that it paid off. We got some really cool books, Power 5. We got Punch 2 for the bow. Um, we still need a couple of enchantments for the sword, and, you know, maybe a couple more for the bow, but we are doing A-OK. -okay. Look at the stuff we have, everyone. Look at these books. Let's just line them all up here, shall we? check them out here what have we got what have we got now we're going to start we're going to need to start accumulating a lot of XP here so we can apply all these to our gear but we have punch two for the bow we have protection four for armor although that's that's extra we're going to leave that for Kachi we're already uh, proc four on all of our armor uh, pieces uh, power five for the bow. That's great. Uh, we have another punch too, so I'm going to give one of those to Kachi. What else do we have here? Looting three for the sword. Depth Strider three for the boots. Feather falling four, which was so so hard to get. God, that was difficult to get. That took a long time. Sweeping edge three for the sword. Uh, yeah. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, feather falling three. Uh, somebody might be able to use that and um, flame for the bow and so we need a couple of other things uh, sharpness five might be something that we can do um, for the sword uh, knockback two might be something or uh, fire aspect something like that but uh, for the most part we are doing really really well one of the other things what we want to do is we need to go into the nether on a little excursion and we are going to need to get ourselves some blaze powder and set up some sort of again early game just hack a uh, brew station uh, wherein we can uh, with which we can brew fire protection potion because that's super super important when working in the nether and uh, then I think we'll be all set to get some, to start working in there um, one of the things I one of the first things I want to do is right at zero zero in the nether I want to blow a hole in the roof in the nether and so we can access the roof in the nether it'll be a lot safer for us to travel up there uh, a lot faster for us to travel too and um, uh, we can uh, mark the area where the nether hub's going to be up there and we can get things started and then it's going to be gathering resources everybody gathering those resources now I really wish we had the shulker boxes I really do miss that but um, We'll get there. We'll get there. Nether first. Let's get set up with the nether, and then, then we'll start looking at heading into the end, uh, fighting that ender dragon as soon as possible. Uh, we've got quite a bit of gear, and so we should be able to do that. Kachi and I have got that down to a, down to a science now. We're, we're pretty slick with that now. And, um, and uh, so we can get that going, and then it'll be a couple of uh, ender uh, end city raids, to get ourselves um, shulker boxes, of course, and some elytra, too. Yeah. So uh, we're going to ramp up. Uh, I feel that we're ramping up in this server very, very fast. Um, not exactly speed runs uh, fast, but uh, uh, much faster than we did in our other map. So our other map, we really took our time. But then again, you know, we weren't streaming through most of the other map. We only started streaming at the very end of that map. And so, again, you know, without the... Um, I'm not really going to say 
pressure i'm going to say more like inspiration without the inspiration of, of streaming you know i really tend to take my own sweet time and just putter around on the map but now that i'm streaming you know like i said i feel kind of obligated you know to keep things moving along fast speaking of which <laughs> let's get working shall we um so we're going to need some we're going to need some xp here uh, let us trade in melons shall we and so let's do a harvest of melons here yeah i am extremely tired today everybody uh, i don't know how well i'm gonna going to be able to function here i'm going to do the best i can um, but if you see me doing ridiculous things <laughs> then this is why <laughs> Uh, major cognition issues right now. <laughs> Alright, let's harvest some melons. One of the things we might be able to do uh, tonight is make a fourth, a level four melon farm. And by level four, I mean a fourth melon, a fourth uh, level of melon farm. Oops. Wow, overpowered. Overpowered axe, everybody. Look at that. And they've already started growing back. Look at how fast they grow back. That's great. Level two. So the way I think I'm going to go about this is uh, enchant the armor. And then move on to weapons. Then when we're all set up with weapons, we go in there. There's a big old nether fortress. Very, very close to zero, zero there in the nether. It's going to be very, very easy for us to raid. But we're going to make sure that we're going to be all geared up. So we'll be making some sort of uh, safe path down into the nether fortress and making a little station or making a series of stations down there uh, into which we can retreat and from which we can fight and store our drops there and so if we happen to die there which i don't plan on doing but if we happen to die there then we don't have to worry about losing all of our stuff right we should be able to get back there fairly easy recover most of if not all of our stuff again you know making good choices everybody making good choices so far we have on record five very bad choices and it's a very early game so i'm not too proud of that but it is what it is <laughs> okay uh sun's just about to go down let's have ourselves a little bit of a nap here And as always, I do a screen refresh window. Uh, refresh the stream window, that's what I'm trying to say. Here we go. Okay, we're looking good. I really don't expect to see anybody on at all right now. Uh, it's very, very late here. Huh? Did I not sleep? I thought I slept. See, cog cognition issues. <laughs> Now, I apologize for being this close to the camera. I know you really don't want to see the details of this, but um, like I said, I have to keep my voice down, and so I want to make sure I'm using the microphone on my Logitech webcam, and I want to make sure that I'm close enough so my voice is picking up. All right, there's, there's several stacks. Now, what we're going for mainly here is XP. We're really not trying to get so much in the way of emeralds and whatnot. We're just trying to get the XP from the, from the trades. Oh, one of the cats have, has worked its way into here, or spawned in here. We may make ourselves a few more uh, librarians, but I don't know. I think we're okay. Yeah, 
and that does it. All right, well, we got about three more levels out of that. That's, I mean, it's not spectacular, but, but it's pretty good. Just picking up our stray XP along the way there. Getting ourselves a little bit of pumpkin pie. Right, okay, let's drop off some of that extra stuff. And let's enchant some stuff, shall we? It, these are our books right down in here. And let me see, I said I'm going to go with armor first. So that means these can all wait. Okay, well, let's put those on first. What is going to cost less? It costs 11 to do it that way, 13 to do it that way. I suppose it doesn't matter, I'm not really sure. Ah, uh, see. Now, how to get 21 XP? Okay, we could actually go into the nether right now and go mine some quartz and that will crank our XP up. We could do that. Plus that hanging in the air without its composter is driving me sort of nuts right now. But I think I used that composter, did I not? I, I think I may have. Yeah, I did, but you know what? We can crank out another one. E er san su ulio chi. Mo de panu zainalia. There we go. Okay, so now that thing's back in working order, such as it is. Okay, so let's put the old booties on. Let's do that. And uh, let's temporarily put all that stuff in there. We're not going to need that. I'm going to stash my boat in there. I'm going to bring my shield. Torches? Nether? Nah. Bed? Uh, whatever. Food? Dirt? No, no thanks. Nether rack, though? Yes. Hatchet? No. Hatchet can stay here. Um, a warped forest nearby. No, we're good. We're good. And I'm going to bring a little bit of cobble just in case. And you know what? Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Also, we've got to get Unbreaking 3 and Mending for the shield. That'll, that'll, that'll be useful. Eventually. Yeah. All right. So we're going to head on into the nether, everybody. A bucket of water in the nether? No. Okay, we're going to head on in there now, and we are going to... Strawberry Fields. Not quite, not quite Strawberry Fields, everybody. Warped Forest Fields. That's where we're going. <laughs> warped, warped Fungus Fields. <laughs> You know what? I've been sitting for a very long time because I've been working at my workbench here. Doing math education stuff. Mm, for a very long time today. But that kind of work I actually enjoy doing. I did zero administration. Well, I did some in administering today. But uh, it, was a, it was a really high-powered, long math education day today. And just me grinding away on the on the... Algebra 1 stuff for the students, and uh, I really enjoy that. That's a hard day that I like putting in. Yeah, you know, that could be fatal. So, <laughs> that being said, let's do something like this right off, shall we? Okay, there we go. There, that'll help. <laughs> okay. Let's let's have a quick look around here. Uh, there's there's some quartz right down there. 
I guess we could go get that, huh? I think there's a somewhat safe way to get down there. Ow! My ankles. Okay, the idea here is we don't really need the nether quartz right now. What we need is the XP that it gives us. All the while being wary, wary for pockets of lava here because we do not, we do not have any fire resistance potion on us. And so we gotta be nimble and vigilant. Vigilant and nimble. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, well. Now, Kachi said you get XP when you when you mine this, but whenever I mine this, I'm not seeing any XP. Oh well, I just got some right there. Huh? What do you know? Okay. Ooh, and look, we've got some masties over there. Okay, we've got some we've got some quartz right here. That's good. Early game XP to be had right here. Ooh, even that's a bit treacherous, isn't it? Wow. Okay, well, let's head back up into this little ravine here. And this is how we got ourselves into this mess in the first place. <laughs> and you know what? I think I think I want to go topside. All right there, Indies. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just coming on through. I don't really have too high power to sword with which to deal with them. So you know what? Uh, I'm going to forego the ender pearls right now, although ender pearls are a hot commodity with me. Yes, they are. Okay. Hi. Well, okay, I see a little bit of gold right here. All right. Nuggies. I see the nuggies. Just put this stuff out. Ooh, see, I almost wound up looking, looking him dead in the eye. I can see a little bit of quartz right over there. I think I'm gonna go for that. really yielding us too much there. Okay, well, we got a little bit on this side, too, that we didn't see. Okay, that's good. Whoa! Ooh, that was close. Pretty dangerous down here. I think our sword's not that bad, though. I'm breaking it. Well, it's got looting three on it. Doesn't really pack a wallop, though. Ooh, look at how close we are to that nether fortress. Look at that, everybody. I think that's how we're going to gain access, building a bridge right across here and then right on over. And that is going to make a heck of a wither farm. Plus uh, some blaze farms too, probably. All right, I can see where this would be a little treacherous. Let's try to, uh, let's try to contain this if we can. There, something like that. I think that'll... What kind of sound was that? <laughs> Are there new sounds in the nether? Uh, because I swear I haven't heard some of these before. All right, so this is subsiding. I think we pretty much capped off that lava stream. And I'm just going around this warped forest. Rather precariously. Ah, okay, we got a little bit of quartz. Right over there. Let's go check it out. 
Okay, it looks like we got a little bit gushing out on that side over there. I think I can. I was hoping to jump place that block. I guess it didn't go quite according to plan. Right? Oh, 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 we almost lost control. Okay, now that's been capped, so we'll take care of this. We'll get this out of here. And then while we're at it, we'll go help ourselves to this quartz over here. And the XP, the accompanying XP that comes along with mining quartz. Here we go. And look at that. We just went up another level, and there's the old jingle jangle of XP, everybody. Gotta love that. Okay, here's a little bit more. Pillar on up to this. Ah, uh, early game XP. Mining quartz in the nether. <laughs> so nostalgic. You know, I'm so tempted to go, you know, dig myself a little cubby hole in the side of one of these cliffs and then uh, antagonize some Endermen. <laughs> Go get them ender pearls. Quite fond of the ender pearls, yes I am. Quite fond of them. So useful. Get myself out of so many pit uh, pinches with those. Okay, well we're working on some goodies right here. And who knows, you know, I may use this. I may wind up using this quartz in, in a build, so in an early build. to do here. Okay, that'll cap that off and keep that in place. Gotta say, this is quite the warped forest, though. We are probably quite far from our zero, zero point two. Okay, well, you know, there's some quartz right over there and a lot of glowstone, too. A little bit of gold down there. Okay, let's head on down here. Let's see what this has to offer down here. I think I can see some sort of cave down here, or is it just... Nah, not particularly. Again, I would start strip mining down here immediately, but uh, for the fact that I don't have the uh, fire resistance potion, I want to be careful. Okay, we're at 21, that's good. Again, I don't really have a particular uh, number in mind for my goal here as far as XP is concerned. I'm just gonna go get me some XP and then when I think the time is, the time is ripe, I'll head on back. Hopefully I'll be heading back with a hot bar full of XP and not heading back uh, because I died and I need to come back for my stuff. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to put on cords for a bit so I can figure out where I'm going. Okay, that way. And yeah, alright. Sense of direction is doing fine. Okay, and we have ourselves the uh, Mr. Enderman over there. Great, great, great. And yeah, we were up there before. Got a little bit of gold down here, okay. Get a little XP from that. Great. I am digging it, everybody. I am digging it. Again, I'm sorry that my voice is so, so very low. It's just uh, trying not to wake people up in the house. It's quite <clears> late here. As I'm looking around here, as I'm climbing and scampering about these ledges and stuff, I'm seeing me a lot, a lot of quartz. See, we're 
Kachi or myself, some one of us uh, went and started to pillar here a little bit. I can see some quartz over there quite readily available. How about <laughs> big lava ocean? Wow, this is this warped forest is very, very big. That's great. In the previous map, we had warped forest too. Uh, pretty close to our, uh, pretty close to our portal into the Nether, but you know it was a pretty small patch of warped forest, and so uh, it's cool to see how big this one is. It has a lot of resources. Okay, yeah, we can do with some of this definitely. All right, that's good. Again, you know, I'm not really here for the quartz, mostly here for the XP. Okay, I can get some of that right over there. Ooh, see, I'm trying to be careful <laughs> where I'm looking <laughs> because there are endermen everywhere. <laughs> Uh, okay, now uh, it would be typical right now for me to crack open a vein of lava and have it come pouring down on me. Uh, it has been known to happen. that that we're going to need soon. Uh, let me see. We've got that gold over there, right? So Kachi was right. Uh, the gold does yield the XP. Huh. I think I tried it once on the stream and uh, nothing happened for some reason. Don't know why. But it's happening now and that's all that matters. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. You know what? I think we're doing pretty good for right now. I'm going to head on back and if I need any more I can always come back in. And we're back, and we're alive, and we haven't lost anything. All right, let's uh, let's set down our bed here. Well, well, not like that, Thunder. Wow, hands are having a difficult time working right now. When I'm putting my weight on them as I'm standing up, and that's not good. Secondarily, I've been using them all day for typing. That's not good, and I'm not a good typist either. why I'm called Thunderhand and not tackety tackety tack hand. <laughs> uh, Alright, here we go. Okay, that's cool. We got quite a yield there. Alright, let's go enchant some stuff. Skip it on down the road. Pretty soon, pretty soon there's going to be a gigantic towering chamber of commerce there. We can get rid of this eyesore right here. Oh my god, it's this is just killing me, you guys. It's killing me. Alright, we said we had some cool things in here. So we were going to go with 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 feather falling and uh, depth dried up. But I think we have the Oh, we already have Feather Falling. Okay, so we need to put that on there. So that means this... Oh, this is Feather Falling 3. That's right. That's okay. I think Kachi wants that. But even if he doesn't, he can get Feather Falling 4, and I'm sure we can use that for something. Then we said Depth Strider 3. All right, so let's take a look at our little butter boots. Wow, 21. That is expensive, huh? Okay, so let's let's review, shall we? Unbreaking 3, Mending, Protection 4, fall, Feather Falling 4, Depth Strider 3. I think uh, the only th other thing I need to put on there is um, is uh, the, the Soul Speed. If I could get a Soul Speed 3, that would be really cool. But I'm wondering, uh, can, a li can I buy that from a librarian or not? I don't think I can.
let's look it up. Soul Speed 3, huh? Uh, let me think. We've got Minecraft. Sorry, looking it up on the wiki. And I think it's Soul Speed, right? I think that's what it's called. That's right. Obtaining. Bartering with piglins who may offer enchanted books. Wearing golden books enchanted with soul speed. <coughs> soul speed is a treasure enchantment and thus cannot be obtained from enchanting in an enchanting table. Unlike other treasure enchantments, it cannot be obtained from most chest loot aside from in a bastion remnants or trading so we cannot get we cannot get a library with soul speed but you know what uh bartering with piglins though we can so this is uh this is what i'm wondering now uh should i put a piglin in the Chamber of Converse. Because, you know, I haven't done any bartering with piglins yet. I, I haven't. I think the Iron Golems won't appreciate that too much and there's going to be trouble, right? And besides, they would be, the piglin would be frightening the librarians constantly, right? And that would affect their trade prices. And they would be spawning iron golems all over the place, right? Yeah, so it's funny looking as that would be to have that piglin among them. Um, yeah, that's not going to work. So I'm thinking uh, make a little bartering station on the roof of the nether. Probably right around the nether hub. Probably as part of the nether hub, right? And just make it a community one that everybody uses, right? Because I don't want to make mine because my piglin bartering center will become the piglin bartering center right and so uh yeah we won't be doing that okay but that that way we can get the soul speed that's how we can get the soul speed in the meantime maybe we can just get uh we can do a little bit of bartering and just get one or two soul speed books for kachi and i right now and you know we don't have to wait to set up a whole piglin bartering system and uh, another world chamber of commerce, whatever. Yeah, we don't need to do that. All right, we can just do some trading and at least get the enchantments on our on our gear right now. Okay, we're almost ready to make another pass at the melons and and build another level up there. We got some XP. We're doing well here, and you know what? I think that'll do it for armor right now, everybody. I think that's really all we need. So we can go on to weapons now. And what do we have for weapons? weapon enchantments we have punch two for the bow so we can do let me see what would be on the bow uh, that can be for kachi i'm trying to leave some stuff for kachi here looting three for the sword power five for the bow and flame so these are all for the bow right here all right okay and then we can you know we're going to need some xp put those on our bow but we need the bow our melons aren't ready yet so what's another way we can get XP pretty quick I mean we can go down to the mines we can mine some redstone we can mine some coal and you know of course diamonds if we find any and some lapis we I guess we can get XP that way I don't think we can really get much more XP in the way of trading because we don't really have much in the way to trade right now. Because we set up our whole economy for melons right now. And so, um, uh, what to do, what to do? What would be the best way to go about this? I'm 
Should we build another layer on top of the melon farm? I, I, I mean, we could do it. It wouldn't be that bad. And also, did we replenish all of our dudes in here? I think we did, right? Oh, no, we didn't at all. Okay, let's go get some bread and let's do that. And then I'm going to take a little bit of a break for a few minutes and then head on back. All right, I forgot that we had we had used these guys. Yeah, let's get them all in the same spot here. Here we go. And then one, two, three, got it. Four, five, six, like that. That's for you guys right there. And then for you two over here, two, three, like that. That's right, go pick them up. And then for Mr. Fletcher here, four, four, five, six for Mr. Fletcher. There you go. Okay, and there's the little hearts. There they go. Yeah, that's right. Okay, Fletchy, I guess you need some more, huh? There you go. Oh, and Wandering Trier. Uh, no. 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 And no. You know, I sense a lightning bolt coming on, dude. I really do. I'll let you hang around for a bit, though. Stay out of the way. Don't be annoying. How about you follow me into the nether? Hmm? Too bad I didn't... I couldn't find a pillager tower around. I'd lead you right over there. <laughs> And let nature take its course. <laughs> I, uh, did we result in some offspring there? Uh, well, we made one, right? But, uh, you know, we need a little more than that, guys. Come on. A little more? Well, let's get some more bread. I mean, we're going to need it for ourselves anyway, at the very least. Not you. Now occasionally as I'm replenishing these guys, I like to rip up the beds and lay them back down just in case any of those any of those um, villagers happen to be claiming these beds still when, when I move them over into their professions. Sometimes I think they're still claiming their beds and then these guys can't claim them and then storm clouds. <laughs> So ripping them up and sending them back down, that usually resets. Okay, great. Now let's see, we should be seeing the hearts. Come on, you guys, how much bread is this going to take, really? Come on, dudes. Come on, man. Make with those hearts. You can do it. I mean, look at all those empty beds. Does it get you thinking about something? Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> come on. Come on, you guys. I mean, I, I can see Junior over there. Uh, so nice job, but there's no reason to stop at one now. That means only two of you did your thing, and two of you are being, well, let's just say not in the mood. Okay, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Do you guys need, need a little privacy there? 
Okay, and then they made the other one. Okay, see, that's great. You know, that that's all. Oh, I, I can see that lead right there is broken off. I'll go pick that up. Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to hang on to the bread there. And I'll go put the lead right in there. And I am thinking we need to make another level here, everybody. I'm thinking we might need to make another level. I'm wondering how much cobblestone we have. A little bit. Probably just a little bit more right here. Yep. 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 Is. Okay. Uh, at this point, I'm going to go take a little bit of a break, and I shall be right back.
Okay, we're back. Let's get some audio here. Apologize for the intermission. Like I said, it's late at night here. Uh, what do we get for time? Uh, 11.38. Okay, that's, that's kind of late. And, you know, we'll try to wrap up. We'll try to do a couple more things, and then we'll wrap it up for tonight. And I see it has been nighttime. Or it's still nighttime here in the overworld, in our Minecraft world, in the Generations Minecraft Realm server. Okay. Let's see how our friends are getting along here. Oh, look at look at all the little younglings, everyone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're good. We're all restocked with our villagers. And, you know, I, I really like the way that this weird little system works here. You know, um, I didn't learn this from anybody. This is just trial and error setting it up. And it's just a really cheap and easy way to uh, uh, keep a, a population of uh, villagers alive. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, we're doing well with the melons here. and But we need lots of XP. You know what? The melons just aren't cutting it uh, as much as we need to. Usually I would... <clears throat> Excuse me, it's hard to talk this quietly actually. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me again. But um, usually I'll, I have a really high-powered pumpkin farm just cranking out uh, stuff. But you know, we're still early game for that. And so I think I'll be going... I'll be going one more level with the pumpkins and I'm going to need a little bit more cobblestone and you know what while I'm at it I might be able to get some XP with coal and some things like that so I think I think we'll uh, we'll work down in the mines for a little bit yeah you know I don't really think we have enough to go taking on blazes and stuff right now Maybe tomorrow night, though. Oh, oh, we need torches. That's right. If we're heading down there. And we need our bucket of water. Sorry. Like I said, cognitive issues right now, people. My apologies. Again, apologies, too, for being so close to the camera. But, you know, my voice. I, I have to make sure that I keep my voice down. Yeah, we need this. What else? Hatchet? No, we don't need hatchet. What else do we need for the mines? Oh, we don't really need to bring that bread with us. We get plenty of pumpkin pie here. What else for the mines? Come on, Thunderhand Think We need a little bit of dirt. Just to deal with lava and stuff like that. Okay, shield, weapons... Pickaxe, got it. Shovel, we're good. Water, okay. Food. Torches. Whew. Torches, that's right. That's right. Uh, we may just... Create a stack of them. Like so. There we go, that's more than enough of those. And who knows, maybe we'll find some more diamonds because we've been using quite a bit of diamonds, although we do have uh, plenty in reserve too, so. Not exactly hurting for diamonds, everybody. Okay, I'm just hearing noises outside. Pretty peculiar at this hour. Okay. And again, apologize for the debug screen. I like to keep it on when I'm mining.
There we go. Got a little bit of light happening there. Is this block 15? This one is. There we go. Just trying to light the place up a little bit. So treacherous. So treacherous. Okay, you know what? We can dig a corridor right through here. There we go. Iron. Redstone. AKA XP. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, everybody? Right there. That's what I'm talking about. Already off to an auspicious start. Coal, there's more XP. I'll go back and get that. Don't worry, don't worry. So we're down here on layer 13, you know, to increase our chances of finding diamonds, you know, while we're looking for other things. But this is mainly in it cobblestone and XP run. <laughs> See, my method of finding diamonds is do not directly look for them. Focus on other things and then you'll find diamonds. Said, I like to place those right on the tens. Makes it easy to find. Find my way around. Especially when we're in a panic and we're fighting mobs and things like that. <laughs> Bucket of water in my inventory. Check. Stone aka XP right there. And more. Yeah, nice. Let's help ourselves, shall we? This is the good stuff, as Mumbo would say. Not quite like that though. Oops, gravel edge! Keep us safe. Oh, actually, we're we're past our point here. Usually, I'll only like to go out about a hundred to start, and then I start mining out from there. It's a hundred hundred area um, beneath my central shaft. That's where I like to. 100 and 100 on layer 13, then 100, 100, layer 9, 100, 100, layer 5, and that's the mining pattern, everyone. That looks like we got a little bit of scaffolding to do, but you know what? We could go roaring right through this one, I think. Oops. Ooh. It's a little shaky. All right, well, let's grab that stuff while we're down here. Then we'll pillar back up to where we were before. Before that foolish move. Oh, and I can hear that squeaker up there somewhere. 
Everybody knows you're there, Spider. Everyone knows you're there. some coal we've got a little bit of iron that's great one of my younger students just submitted their homework now at 11.49 at night. Hmm, I'm going to have to have a word with their parent about that. A little bit late to be up doing homework now. That's the only, uh, only reason why I'm meddling with that. Yikes, look at that, everyone, look at that. Ooh, that's scary stuff. I'm going to regret opening this up on myself, but... I can hear a skelly somewhere. All kinds of mobs around. Let's light this up a little bit, shall we? Okay, they're all above me. You know, we've got some XP goodness right around here, too. We just gotta be careful not to open up any chambers above us and have mobs raining down on us. <laughs> Easy does it, Thunder Hand. Easy does it. Oh, we got some coal right there. Okay, that's good. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Let's get this coal here. I can hear those skellies above us. With their bones rattling. <laughs> big coal deposit right over here. But man, I can hear them mobs. They are close. They are really close. They're probably only a few blocks on the other side of them. Oh dear. They are really close. Wow. They are making a racket. So Thunderhand is currently at five deaths right now. <laughs> it's quite a disgraceful record for yours truly. Again, I'm down here getting resources right now, but also just trying to build up some easy XP.
Okay, let's get out of there, shall we? <laughs> what are we doing here? 56? Okay. Right there. Let's do a little bit of refreshing mining here. Remember, if you're new to these streams, these uh, nightly streams from Sunday to Friday evening streams, uh, these are unscheduled streams. I just pop on whenever I get a chance, so uh, if you're a follower, watch for your notifications. If you're not able to make the stream, that's fine. Watch the stream recaps on our Twitch channel, Thunderhand64 underscore gaming. They're up there for 14 days before they expire. And that's why we went and set ourselves up a YouTube channel and we archive them all on our YouTube channel, Thunderhand64 underscore gaming2. In fact, I think I just loaded up about six or seven more of them yesterday when all my trouble seemed so far away. Okay, get a little bit of redstone there, a little bit more XP. And there we go. Okay, let's go pick up this iron. All right, that's good, that's good, that's good. I like it, I like it, I like it. All right, we can start this corridor on the way back. So you can see where I'm making these all on the tens first. Just makes it easy to find our way around. gravel inch. some goodies to be gotten back there. I'll double back once I do that. I can hear some water rushing above me too. All right, now there was lots of iron right here and then lots of coal right there. Maybe some diamonds. with the old black gold, everybody. Right, so that's, well, that layer like this. Great. Oh, my eyes are really dry right now. some water above me. Running water. Whoops, not yet. Right there. There it is. Watching Tinfoil Chef's uh, stream. Not a stream, but it's a video, anyway. It's a Hermitcraft video. It's a few moments ago. I like watching this stuff, it's very relaxing. That guy knows how to grind, I'll tell you.
Got it. Well, that's a little precarious. Use some of this crap stone here to fill in as well. Doesn't always have to be our precious cobble. Oops, Didn't necessarily want to do that. Okay, that's good, that's good, all right. We have a quarter going through this one. No, we do not. Oops. Getting a little aggressive there. Oops. Oh, scary, everybody. Scary stuff. Got some goodies over there, too. Steady as she goes. Steady as she goes. Ah, uh, see? That is fraught with danger. with danger. Okay, let's do that. Let's use some of this granite. A stone which I love to mispronounce. Andesite. Um, Andesite's actually a pretty good block. I'm not really hurting for it right now, though. Huck. Yeah, I'm starting to have a lot of trouble with block placement right now. <laughs> getting tired, kids. I'm getting tired. Lads, lasses. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, whatever. I'll just do that. And. Let a soldier on. Steady as she goes here, Thunderhand. Easy. Gentle. Okay. Yeah, there's some risky business for you right there.
again, you know, I'm, I'm laying down a, a layer to stand on to work on here over lava. You know, I could just, you know, there's a, there's a lot of things I could do there. I could just dump some water on it, but then, you know, then I have to deal with obsidian. You know, it's going to wear down the pickaxe, it's going to take a long time, all, all that. You know, I actually use these mines down here. So I don't mind, you know, structuring a little bit while I'm mining like this. down there. Well, that was helpful, yeah. Got a little bit of XP out of it. I'm thinking on wrapping this up because it is getting late here. I'm getting burned out. I'm not making productive decisions on things right now because I'm tired. Uh, and I still have a lot of work to do tomorrow uh, of the non-Minecraft nature. Thus, we made a little bit of progress tonight, but I was really just hoping to see some of you guys tonight. But I realize my choice of hours not ideal. <laughs> That's okay. Plenty of other streams. Keep producing content. That's what we got to do. goodies especially that stuff right there mm, and that stuff right there the rest of this stuff can go in this chest back here that should be fine smelt down some of this iron redstone don't we no diamonds today though a little disappointed in myself there okay let's get in position and call it a stream I am burnt out everybody it's been a long day Okay, so this has been Thunderhand64, and hey, check out my golden butter boots, everybody. Look at that. I'm breaking three, mending, protection four, feather falling four, depth strider three, and then on the owl helmet we have I'm breaking three, aqua affinity, mending, respiration, protection four. And then uh, on the chest plate and the leggings, I don't really do too much there. I'm breaking, mending, protection four, proc four on there. And how are we doing here? Uh, I'm breaking, mending, looting. And so sharpness five would be kind of nice there, right? A little bit of knockback two, and maybe fire aspect, we'll see. Uh, sweeping edge three, definitely. Uh, infinity and breaking three, um, right on this thing. We need um, 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 uh, power five. Power five, punch two. Indeed, indeed. And then on here, oh, we're doing good here with our fortune three pickaxe. We're doing well here and doing here with our shovel. And uh, we are almost ready. Our shield we need on breaking three on and mending, mending. 
and uh, then we'll be ready to rock. So the sun's just about to set. I have pickaxe in hand, and let us queue up our outro. Just remember these uh, weeknight streams from Sunday through Friday are unscheduled streams, so make sure you watch your notifications if you're a follower. And if you're not able to make the stream, uh, check out these video recaps that are on our Twitch channel. They're up there for 14 days, Thunderhand64 underscore gaming on Twitch. And if you, uh, let me see, those expire in 14 days. So if you want to see some of our past adventures here, and uh, especially the first couple of days we started on the server, that's really funny. Uh, you can go check us out on the, our YouTube channel, Thunderhand64 underscore gaming 2. That is our YouTube channel, and that's where we archive all of these stream videos. For all time, for historical evidence of our work here and and let me see we do have an instagram uh that i'm really not that active i'd like to be more active on it um but unfortunately you know instagram i can only upload from my phone and all the pics and screenshots uh, from the game are on my pc right and so i need to set up a pc uh, an app emulator and then from there i can upload and so i have to do a little bit of that stuff i'm not looking forward to it but i think it's easy enough to do um and so uh, i hope to be uh, interacting on the instagram a little bit more and the discord channel we do have a public discord channel that we're working on that we've been working on forever and ever and ever <laughs> But we haven't really been making that much progress on there. But there really hasn't been that hard to, uh, that big of a hurry to either. So, um, but I would like to get it up. I would like to get it running. I think I can get some of you guys in there. That would be really cool. Um, so uh, let me see. We do have two scheduled streams Saturday at noon time here from the Generations Minecraft Realms server, and on Sundays at 9 a.m. we have our uh, weekly kachi time stream where we for about an hour sometimes a little bit longer uh stream with kachi and we do whatever kachi wants and uh last time we played among us and i want to give a shout out to ttv uh gamer guy uh one of our viewers who jumped in our among server with us uh, among us server and played among us with us and it was a lot of fun i can't tell you how thrilled I was to be able to interact with the viewers that's really cool I really like that so I'd like to figure out a way to do more of that that would be a lot of fun um, so with that seeing as night has fallen in our Minecraft realm here um, I'm going to wish you all enjoy the rest of your wow morning <laughs> Your morning, your day, your evening, wherever you happen to be. And please come on by.